All right, here's that differentiated product uh, Bertrand model problem. Anyway, notice, uh, oh, I didn't fix that typo. Francois's demand curve depends on Babette's price and vice versa. And let's dive right in. M remember, marginal costs are just assumed to be zero, just for convenience. Problem. I think I probably just got cut off. So remember that Francois's quantity equals 30 minus Francois's price plus Babette's price. And Babette's quantity is equal to 30 minus Babette's own price plus Francois's price. All right, um, let's just do Francois first. It's a symmetric problem, so once I do Francois's problem, I really don't need to do much to get to Babette's problem. So his marginal revenue, remember I double the slope on PF. That's the new, uh, the new thing here, uh, 30 minus 2 PF, but we don't double the slope on PB. That's his marginal revenue. It's equal to zero, the marginal cost. And then that means I'm going to move, add 2 PF to both sides and then multiply through by 1 half and I get PF is equal to 15 plus PB over 2. That's firm. That's Francois's reaction function. Babette's reaction function is going to be uh, similar. 15 plus PF over 2. And then remember that equilibrium in this uh, example, this type of problem comes where they, they actually produce the anticipated amount. So we can we can solve for the point where those reactions uh, coincide just by plugging either Francois's reaction into Babette's function or Babette's function into Francois's function. Let's just do it. I see in my notes I've got it. I'm going to just plug Francois's reaction function into um, Babette's reaction function into Francois's reaction function. 15 plus 1 half times 15 plus PF over 2, right? So when I work that all out, I get 15 plus uh, 7.5 is 22.5 plus PF over 4. Subtract PF over 4, I get 3 quarters. PF on the left-hand side, multiply through by 4 thirds, and I get PF is equal to 4 thirds times 22.5, which is equal to 30. And so Babette's price is 15 plus 1 half times 30 is also 30. Now it makes sense, right? It's a symmetric problem. So if we had gotten a different number than 30, we'd have had to ask what's going on. And then finally, so, so there's no cost. So price times quantity, 30 times 30. Francois's profit is equal to Babette's profit, which is equal to 900. And then I think I made an error in class uh, on the Stackelberg um, analog. If, if these if there's a leader and a follower in the Bertrand, uh, I've gone over my math twice here, and and um, I've I've got let me let me do that with you in the next slide. All right, in the Stackelberg case, let's make Babette the leader this time. So what I what she does is she predicts Francois's um, reaction. So 30 minus her own price plus Francois's price. But remember that she predicts his reaction. So that's going to be 15 plus Babette's price over 2. And so that's the demand function that the leader anticipates. And I'm going to group terms up, and I get 30 minus PB over 2. 
is the demand curve for Babette and is the quantity demand for Babette and then marginal revenue for Babette is and, and I made a mistake there didn't look at my notes it's 30 plus 15 is 45 should be 45 minus PB over 2 uh, all right so marginal revenue is double the slope on PB 45 minus just PB set that equal to 0 and Babette pr prices at 45 now Francois just reacts right so his reaction function is 15 plus PB over 2 15 plus 22.5 37.5 so that so there we have it now now let's get, get quantities so we can also get profits uh, Babette her quantity is equal to 30 minus the price she charges 45 plus 37 0.5 which turns out to be negative 15 plus 37.5 22.5 and then uh, Francois his quantity is 30 minus his own price 37.5 plus Babette's price And it, it turns out 45 minus 7.5 is 37.5. So he, he produces 37 and a half kilos or whatever these are. And then we get a really interesting result, different than what I got in class. And I'm, I'm thinking I made an error in class, but I'll give extra credit to the student that catches my error if it's in the screencast. Um, like I say, I, I got this puzzling error and went over everything and couldn't couldn't figure out any, any mistake, although I think I figured out a mistake I did in class. Um, all right, so um, profits for Babette are equal to her price times quantity, 45 times 20, that's an X, believe it or not, sorry, 22.5, which is equal to 1, 12.5 so she does a little bit better as um, than she did the 900 in the in the case where there was no leader but uh, here's where it gets sort of interesting um, Francois the follower and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why I think this makes sense um, the follower uh, charges a price of 37.5 and then uh, produces a quantity equal to 37.5 and 37.5 squared gets you 1,406.25 so the so the leader does better than in the case where there was no leader but the follower does even better which is interesting so there's an advantage to be in the the leader in the Stackelberg case but the follower has it even better and um, this makes sort of some sense given they're competing in, in price. Um, Francois sees what Babette's done and undercuts her a little bit. That's, that's, um, so, so in the end, he, he gets more sales and, um, so, so, and, and more profit. So they both do better. The follower, the increase in the follower's well-being is bigger than the increase in the leader's well-being. Sort of an interesting result.